Hello, it's Natasha, and um, I want to talk about the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer Oil Free. And this has been my primer for years now. I have tried, <laughs> I've tried going to a different route that's supposedly newer, better, um, longer lasting, cheaper. And I always come back to this. I believe this is my second or third container. Um, the one previous to this, I got the biggest tube and it wasn't a pump. Yeah, it wasn't a pump. It was like a squeeze tube, like a toothpaste. It, uh, this is, um, I forgot the weight of it, but um, I believe this is, okay, here it is. This is one fluid ounce. The one that previous to this one I bought was like double or double and a half. Like, I think it was like two or one and a half or two or two and a half fluid ounces. The problem with that was, and why I chose the smaller one right now, is because it expired and I didn't even hit three quarters of using it. Just because I don't really use makeup all that well, but now that I'm vlogging and I enjoy vlogging and I vlog um, a lot in, in the week, we'll see if I do need to upgrade into the bigger container because it is cheaper overall than this one. So um, in the past few months, I got that new the new um, releases of primers, the, what is that called? Um, I think Urban Decay I've tried. Yes, I, I tried two different Urban Decays. I tried, um, I'd like to say NARS. Um, I've tried, this is in the past few months, I'm trying to think, because I, I did try a few of them and I had to return them because um, two of them made me break out, and I believe that was the Urban Decay, um, and the other one didn't really, um, all three of them wasn't really um, pore minimizing at all. This is, this is the best one I've ever had, and I always go back. My pores are always hidden, and it's always like the, the makeup never goes in it which is which to me really really annoys me if there are people out there that don't really care about like like small things like that then you know good for you but for me if I see my face and um, I can see my pores even just one pore on my nose I am unhappy I just don't like it because if I'm not wearing any makeup you, you don't really see it that well but sometimes when you do wear makeup or the makeup that I use a lot of times it goes in there and I just don't like it. It bugs me a lot. So um, that was my biggest concern was to make sure it fills that and it doesn't make me out. This hasn't done any. I, this never broke me, made me break out. And this never um, failed to seal my pores so that no makeup, maybe loose powder, pressed powder, or if you want to do a foundation that day, will go in and like accentuate your pores. Um, my pore problem is only on, on like this part of my nose. The rest of my face, I don't really have that problem, but I do use this for my entire face and I don't need a full pump. If I do a full pump, I just, I don't want to waste it and I just rub it on my neck even though I, you know, it's just lotion there, but I don't want to waste it and like wash my hands. So I, that's what I do. But I try as much as possible to do like half a pump because that's enough for my entire face. That's why... Um, I wanted to see, and I'm kind of glad that I, I actually started my channel to see if this actually lasts me until it expires, which is on February of 2019. So I have 18 months. So if, if I finish this before then, due to probably just my lifestyle change now, I might spring for the bigger one. It is cheaper when you when you when you think about it like per um, fluid weight. Um, I know it's like it's it's really expensive, but when you think about it, if you do use it a lot, if you do it like if you do use it five days out of the week minimum, maybe even more, and um, you know that you you know it, it just depends if if you're able gonna use it before it expires because 
I've also used this after it expires and it doesn't work at all. It, it didn't, um, um, it didn't help with my pores anymore. It did nothing. So I understand why there is the use of the expiration date. And you know what? After, after talking to, um, I believe it was one of the consultants. I don't know if it was from Hourglass or like an online store somewhere. I called them and asked for assistance. And they were the ones that told me if your makeup is um, expired, it won't really work the way it used to be before it expired. And she was the one that told me the reason your primer doesn't work anymore is because it's expired. It was like six months expired. So I guess the last time I used it was like more than six months. And I just didn't know, you know, because I, I didn't really use it that much. But um, I've had this for less than a year and I've you know, started my channel less than a month ago and um, I do use this um, when I'm recording my vlogs. I like it. It, it makes my skin feel really nice. <laughs> I like putting it on. <laughs> so I do use it um, when I do vlog and um, if I go on like special occasions, I'll use this as well. And this is only how much I've used it since... Um, Probably the beginning of the, this year, so it's been several months. It lasts a while. If you're not using even a full pump and you're using it once a day. I have, I mean, you know, I'm not really that an expert of makeup. So there have been times in which I had to scrub everything off and redo everything again. And um, it's still, you know, I'm not halfway there. So I really, I really, really love this. I've seen a lot of people recommend other brands like Smash... I forgot Smashbox too. I tried that um, and I didn't like it either. It made me break out. It didn't minimize any pores. I think I tried two or three different kinds that they have or the the clear one. No, just one. No, two because they have two different kinds now for the clear, clear one with no color. And it was like the photo and then the, the one was like oil control or something and it just didn't work for me. Um, so I always come back to this. This is my third purchase and I really, really love it. I haven't really seen anything that has, has surpassed my expectations of this. Um, I have from ever since I tried primers because I didn't know anything about primers until less than three years ago. I have tried um, a lot of different primers. I've even... I've tried um, Estee Lauder, I've tried Clarence, I've tried the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Primer is supposed to, you know, minimize pores and all that stuff. Clarence too. So I've tried Clarence, ever since I tried it, I've tried Clarence, um, Estee Lauder, NARS I believe, I've tried um, Becca. I have tried um, Smashbox, Urban Decay, NYX, I've tried that too. Um, that might be the only drugstore one I tried. I have been really, really worried on trying um, Primer that is a drugstore brand just due to the fact of um, my skin is very sensitive and when I do use drugstore brand, a lot more so or not, I get like a really bad reaction and it takes me like a week or two to get rid of it. So is it really worth trying something new, saving like a little bit of money here and there? Not really because um, I, a lot of times I might need medication from my dermatologist because of that. And I don't want to keep on doing that, you know, because it, it, it does harm your skin in the long run. So anyway, I'm sorry for my, for my voice and I'm sorry that if, I'm just a little bit under the weather today. <clears throat> um... So here you go. Do I like it, love it, dislike it, hate it? I love this. This is my favorite primer. This is my only primer. Um, I have a primer spray that I've tried and I don't like one of them. I'm going to retry the other one, the oil control, just to see if it does work or not. But this is definitely my favorite. I love this. This definitely does work and it um, it covers your pores. Just make sure though, if you do have very oily um, skin, make sure that um, if you do use like a powder and a, no, a finishing spray after, 
make sure your finishing spray can last. It doesn't matter what brand you use and you're happy with, make sure it can last and if it can't, try to retouch it. Um, just to make sure your makeup lasts longer. So here you go. The Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer for oil free. Thank you so much for your time and I hope you enjoyed my review. Um, I hope you subscribe to my channel and be a part of my channel family. Thank you so much. Bye.